remember, but I found something. I don't offer a prayer. It gives me peace, sweet consolation. And he has promised me heaven's glory I'll share. He gives me pleasure that the world cannot give, although I'm a beggar, I'm rich beyond measure, I found a treasure when I found the Lord, soon I'll cross over. Jewels I surely will find. I'll have a match, my home forever, and walls of jasper one day will be mine. I found the treasure when I found Jesus. He gives me pleasure that this whole world cannot get. I'm just a beggar. I'm rich beyond measure. I found a treasure when I found. I found him, but he found me, but I extended it, and that's really what it happened. But, you know, I, I, ever since I've known him, he's the best thing that's ever happened to me. No, I was saved when I was eight years old, a little boy. I didn't know what all I got, but I sure am glad I got a treasure. Uh, the older I get, the more I find out all the benefits. Boy, it's just loading my wagon when I get older. I love the Lord. I Lord, love everything of it. But being saved is the best thing. secret to hidden possessions always oh, to love him and to serve him each day but oh it's not what you see that makes me a king
seen But oh, it's not what you see That makes me a king Makes me a king To me, I'm everything oh, But oh, it's not what you see that makes me a king, makes me a king to me. I want to say because he lives, I can stand here tonight. Yes, sir. You know, I, I just want to be humbled. I, I know I'm nothing, but he's everything. And, you know, as I was praying and studying, it's not by my might, not by my, but it's by his power and his word. You know, we're here for revival. And I want to say this to start out. Um, you know, for something to be revived at some point in time, it's had to have life. Yes. You know, a man, you know, a, a, an ambulance goes out and those people and they try to revive somebody. At some point in time, that thing has had life. Yes, sir. I mean, they can't, you can't revive a mannequin. And I want to say, I know he preached on salvation last night and I'm not going to preach on salvation. But I want to make it sure that you know that you got life because if you've never had life, you can't get revived. Amen. We are having revival. You know, the preacher said last night, we are in revival. And I thought about that. And I wanted to be sure, but he said revival. And, you know, why do we as a church need reviving? Well, I'll tell you one thing is, we believe Jesus Christ is coming back soon. Amen. And we got lost loved ones that were praying and hoping they would just turn to Jesus before it's too late because during that time of tribulation it's going to be miserable and there's no guarantee that they could be saved and so you know what with that stress they end out worrying about your lost loved ones I'm telling you after a while it kind of wears on you don't it? you kind of get tired Amen. listen we go to work and we work hard and yes. I listen there's trials all the time are there not yes. just I mean spiritual trials he'll the devil will, will hey he can even use a GPS I was in Knoxville a few weeks ago and I put a location in my GPS and, and you know with a tractor trailer 50 foot, 3 foot trailer and I'm going through this little old road and a bridge is out. The GPS don't tell me where to go from there, you know. Here I am. I'm telling you, do some praying. Amen. Amen. But after a while, man, you, you start needing some reviving, too. After, you know, the, the year goes on, the year goes on. Man, we start needing some lifting up. We need some reviving. Yeah. But listen, we're here tonight because the man of God, it was put on his heart to have a revival. He told me a few weeks ago, it, I believe that God put it on his heart. I have to believe by faith I come here tonight believing that God opened this door for me. Yes, sir. By faith I, I come here tonight to do this work because I believe my God can even use a dummy like me. I believe our God is that great that he can bring revival. Now, why did we get up and come tonight if we didn't believe that? Listen, did y'all come just because the preacher called for church and you want to be seen? Or did you come expecting something to happen? Listen, revival can happen. 
But I want to say you have to be born again first. If you were, like he preached last night, if you've never been saved, you don't need revived. You need life. Amen. And that comes through Jesus Christ. Yes. So I want to make that clear before we start. But Hebrews 11, if you don't mind. I want to, I want to ask one more thing right quick. Jerry, Joe Grooms, will you stand for a minute? Speak. Amen. That's my grandson. Amen. 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 He accepted Jesus Christ and, and he's seeking the Lord with all his heart now. So I wanted to give him that opportunity. You know, they told me when I got saved, they say the more you tell people, the stronger your faith was going to get. And I've been telling people, but I want him to tell people. I want to help him out. I want to push him. But listen, if you want mine, uh, Hebrew 11. And then if you find it, stand for the reading of the Word of God. We'll read uh, 5 and 6. It says, By faith was Enoch was translated that he should not see death, and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. But without faith... It is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Brother Chris, pray for me. Heavenly Father, we come on behalf of Brother Randy this evening. We ask you, O oh God, if you would just take him, his lips are clay tonight, Lord, and touch him. We ask you, Lord, don't hide him behind the cross and don't hide him in the front of it, but hide him in the cross tonight, Lord, and use him and give him strength to preach the word of God, to feed us that's waiting tonight to hear it. Then, Lord, if there's one lost that walked the aisle, they'd get saved tonight and washed in the blood of Jesus. But, Lord, it looks like faith is right here. We've got to have just a little step of faith and believe it that you'll save us and keep us. Touch the preacher tonight. Touch the pastor. Touch Canaan Land Church. We'll be careful to thank you and we love you and praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. You may be seated. I kind of watched everybody sit down there because I wanted to see nobody was worried about those benches falling. Amen. Everybody sat down expecting it to be all right. Yes, sir. I want to tell y'all something. That's the kind of faith we need to have in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yep. Trusting that I just like you sat down on that bench, that we got faith in him just like that. Without faith, the Bible says it's impossible to please God. But now listen then. Oh, Enoch. It mentions him in Genesis 5. It said that he walked with the Lord all of his days. Amen. And then here it says he had a testimony that he pleased the Lord. Yeah. I want to tell y'all something. I want to die. When I die, I want them to say things like that about Randy Fowl. He loved the Lord. He knew who he was serving. Amen. And he served him well. Amen. Hey, he walked with the Lord after he got saved. That's a great testimony. But it said by faith, he had to have faith. Faith. I want to say, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Now, we know about salvation. I believe this. There's two things about faith. Number one, every man is given a measure of faith. I believe that God did want nobody to go to hell. I believe God gives every man enough faith to believe in Jesus Christ. A man just has to deny it to go to hell. I heard this on the radio the other day. We don't go to hell for our sins. We don't go to heaven for our works. We go to hell for denying what God done for us through Jesus Christ on that cross and we go to heaven because of what he did do. Yeah. Hey, listen, by faith, by faith, but let, after we get saved, listen, there's two things about faith. Number one, every man's given a measure full, but number two is our faith can grow. Hey, it says that faith coming by hearing, hearing by the word of God. How can a man hear unless he's a preacher? How can a man preach unless he's sent by God? So our faith can grow. What does that mean? We need 
to be in church all we can. Hey, we need to hear the word. Listen, I listen to the uh, radio, Christian radio. I listen to preaching. I, I know the men that I, I believe are Holy Ghost preachers and I listen to them. I grew up, I try to go to church every time I can because I want my faith to grow and grow and grow. And that's what I was telling my grandson. You know, by faith, he had to accept Jesus Christ. But I told him the more and more he hears that, the stronger and stronger his faith gets. I don't believe there's a man at some point in time the devil ain't trying to doubt his salvation. Yeah. But you know what? When you get so strong in your faith that you can stick his nose in the blood, he don't come at you about your salvation no more. Amen. When you decide how you got saved, but it was by the blood of Jesus and believing what he done on that cross, Satan ain't gonna keep coming at you. But your faith has got to grow and grow. And how does it do that? You keep hearing the word. Keep hearing the word. God sends preachers and they preach the word and you hear it and you hear it. Hey, church was made for man, not man for church. God has church for you and me because we need each other. We need to hear the word of God. And God sends preachers. Hey, by faith, I, I believe this door was open. Not by faith, I'm here. Without faith, it is impossible to please him. Because, listen, we have to get salvation. But listen, what happens after that? You and me, we need to have faith in God. I believe this. It, it comes to a point this week. Now, I had a couple of bad weeks. And and, and man, old devil was hitting me, and there was a point in time where I thought, man, October 20th, 1963 was cursed, you know? I said, man, I was cursed. That's the way the devil deals with it. But I heard on the radio through a preacher, he said, we must know that God loves us. Amen. We got to know that God loves us. And then when we know that God loves us, we can believe that all things were together for the good of those that love Christ. We can say if God be for us, who can be against us? We can say we're more than conquerors through Jesus Christ when we believe he loves us. We know that all things, whatever's going on in our life, God's trying to make us a better person. God if God didn't think it was for our good, he wouldn't let us go through it. Now, you know faith. Faith is believing in God. You know, uh, like I said, y'all said on that bench, and that's easy. That was easy faith. Look, people, that's easy faith. But what about when your uh, leg is hurting so bad you can't stand it, and you're praying, and you're praying, but God just seems to not be listening? Hey, listen. You still got to believe he's God. Amen. We still got to trust him. And that's when we get tempted. That's when we get tested. When things are going bad, the devil wants us to get mad. The devil wants us to give up. Did y'all know that suicide is his highest rate ever right now? People just don't see no hope. But there is hope in Jesus. If we will just, it starts with the church. You and me, we need to be revived. Listen, we need to get excited about the Lord. We need to be showing this world there's something out there better. There is hope, but it starts with you and me. If they don't see it through us, yeah, we work. Yeah, we get tired. But God, Jesus Christ, ain't what he did for you and me. And the Bible says the present, the suffering of this present time has no comparison to the glory that's going to be coming one day. We need to get excited. We need to trust God. We need to believe God. Everything's going to be okay. Okay. I don't know what you're going through. I have to go through my own thing. And I have to stop sometimes. I just said, God, you do love me. Hey, you do love me. So when I said that, hey, listen, I can say all things work together for the good of Christ. I can say all things work together for the good of Christ because he loves me. And if it, if it wasn't been for my good, I wouldn't be going through it. He's trying to bring me someone. So when you're going through something and it's tough and it feels like God's not even listening to your prayer, you know the devil will say, there ain't no need praying. Yeah. There ain't no need praying. That's what he'll say. Yeah. Hey, and it might go on for two weeks. He'll say, hey, you just feel like God ain't around. He's around. Yeah. He knows what he's doing. Yes, sir. Amen. We just got to have the faith to trust him. We got to believe in him. We got to know that, hey, it's okay. God, God, we need to have faith. But then, listen to this. There was two little commas there that separated this. It said that 
But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Then there's these two little dots. Yeah. I failed English. I don't know how many times. I don't know what them dots stand for, but there's a separation. Amen. I know there's a separation there. Amen. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. Listen, did y'all know this? They announced on the radio this week. The Bible you know, says the, our government says one nation under one God. But they said every God but the God of the Bible. Because the God of the Bible believes there's only one way. Yes. That's what our government is saying. Stupid. Yeah, they're stupid. Yeah, but you got to believe that he is God. I believe in the beginning when he said, let's create, he spoke and he created this word. I believe it. I believe when he created light, he created the light and he created the darkness. And he made morning, he made night. He went on, he made the stars. He made the, the ocean. I will tell y'all, I, I told this story the other day. I, I was on the 16th floor in uh, Gulf Shores one day and I got up early and done my Bible study and when I was doing my Bible study there it said that the ocean that God told it where the water where this line is I believe it Amen. God told the ocean where it's lying in you know everything in that ocean looks to God to feed it Hey, everything in that ocean looks. There's a fish that lays a thousand eggs. I was listening to this program. A fish that lays a thousand eggs. Out of that thousand eggs, part of them get eaten before they even get hatched by some certain thing. Then part of them hatch and part of them get eaten by bigger fish. But then a hundred of them go on and live to do the same cycle again because God's taking care of everything in his ocean. God does that. We got to believe who he is. I believe our God can just speak and solve everything. I believe our God is in control. Yeah. But God give man will, didn't he? Yeah. Hey, this problem is man's problem. It ain't God's problem. Man's got the problem. Our God can solve it all and one day he will. Yeah. One day he's going to step out on a cloud and call us home. Yeah. Our God, I believe that he just speaks and things happen. Now listen, there's three blind men in the Bible. And God gave me this. One of them, he made some mud and put on his eye. And that guy could see. One of them, he spit. And that guy could see. One of them, he just spoke. And that guy could see. Oh, Adrian Rogers said today we'd have three denominations. The mud outs, spit outs, and touch outs. <laughs> but listen, it was God that done the healing. All three of them, God done the healing. I believe God uses medication. I believe God uses surgery. And sometimes God just speaks. But it's God, God, I know who I'm serving. My God will do it. Hey, sometimes he lets us go through things, don't he? Hey, man, sometimes we go through suffering. But it ain't nothing to compare, like I said earlier, for the glory that we're going to be in. You and me, we need to be excited. We need to know who we're serving. We're serving a real God. We need to be letting this world know that there is hope that they don't have to commit suicide. There's hope. We the people of God need to stand up. It's time. Our God can bring revival. Our God can bring revival to this land. Our, hey, it's not over until it's over. Hey, when God says the last man saved, it'll be over. But until then, hey, there's hope. We just got to know who we're serving. Hey, he is God Almighty and all-knowing. Yes. Amen. Amen. But that ain't all it said. He said this. I got to find my place again. There's another one of them little commas, you know, separation. And he said, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Now, I looked up that word dil diligently in the Hebrew and Greek, and it means painstakingly. Listen, I know y'all worked hard today. I know it's long. You, you go to church on Sunday morning, Sunday night, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But I'm going to tell you, he's a rewarder to them that painstakingly, that give an effort to seek him. You know what? It pays to go to church. If they had it every day, it would pay to go to church. Listen, not only that. 
digging in the Word of God. Yeah. Hey, listen, my grandson just got saved, and he's want, man, he's wanting to go to the state right away. I'm trying to tell him, you know, you just a babe, you got to stay on the milk for a little bit. God ain't gonna give it all to you in a week, man. Hey, okay? you got to grow. You got to grow. You got the number one thing is you got to get in the Word of God. You get in the Word of God, you read and you don't understand a lot. You read it and you don't understand. You just keep reading it, and God will give you what you need at that point in time. God knows what we all need, what we can all handle, and we just keep digging in the Word of God, and one day, hey, we'll be growing. One day you'll look back and you'll see how He rewarded you. You just stay in the Word of God. Keep focused on it. Keep focused on the Word of God. Listen, old Satan's going to throw some sticks. Hey, he does. But when he does, if we know the Word of God, we can throw them back, can we? You know the Bible talks about that armor, about old devil throwing darts, and we need to have the the armor on, you know, when he's throwing, you know what, I wish God, before he would throw him in that pit of fire, he'd let me kick him. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, hey, he's, man, he made life so miserable, you know, and, and I would just love to have one chance to kick him for God throwed him in the fire, but hey, I believe I, we're going to be rewarded daily if we would just stay in the word of God, if we'll just stay in church, if we'll just give our lives to Jesus, We'll be rewarded by God Almighty. We can, listen, there's reward. There's joy in the Lord. Hey, I'm, a lot of us just enduring our salvation. Salvation. I'm tired of enduring. I want to enjoy. Yeah. I want to enjoy my salvation. I want, listen, a lot of people are scared of the devil. A lot of people are looking for the Antichrist. I'm looking for Jesus come out on that cloud. I'm not looking for the Antichrist. I don't care about the Antichrist. I care about Jesus Christ, and I'm looking for him to step out on that cloud. Listen, I believe that God I serve. Man, Woo. Yes, sir. he's God, Amen. and he's a rewarder to them that diligently. I'm talking about painstakingly. Man, you got to go to revivals. You need to go to church when you're tired. You need to just put God first in your life and everything you do. We, I'm, I'm saying y'all, but I'm preaching myself too. You know, hey, we need to put God first in everything we do, and then He's a rewarder. He's not a reward. He's God. Hey, he's not a reward. Don't don't think of it like that. He's a rewarder to those that diligently seek him. Hey, he yeah, he can do it all. But we need to get up. We need to get revived. We we need to tell the devil, listen, I know those people say, I'm gonna tell Satan, get behind thee. Let, that right there, I worry about that because listen, the, I was reading the other day when uh, the devil wanted to know about Moses' body. They said that the archangel Michael didn't even dispute with the devil. He just said, the Lord rebuke ye. Randy Fouts can't rebuke the devil, but I know the one that can. Yeah. Amen. He can rebuke him. You and me, we can't do it. But through Christ, all things are possible. Yeah. Through his power, yeah. through the word of God, Amen, all things are possible. Yes, and he's telling me and you tonight, hey, he's telling me, he's telling me to get happy. He's telling me to get joy. Amen. He's telling me to get peace and start this battle that people are dying and going to hell and they don't have to. Amen. They don't see nothing out of me and you. They're not seeing it. They're committing suicide. Just, I mean, we heard about six in just a few weeks. Six people committed suicide. Hey, you know what? Now, Jesus was tempted to commit suicide. Y'all remember that when he was tempted in the garden? The devil told him to jump off him wrong. Let the devil, let the angels come and minister to him. But Jesus said, I will not tempt my Lord, my God. A man that commits suicide is saying God can't deliver us. God can God can deliver all of us. We just got to trust Him. Hey, will the uh, singers come? But as we started out, you got to know Jesus first. You can't be revived until you say. So, I mean, we don't ever want to close the service without giving somebody a chance. If you ain't sure about your salvation, you need to be sure about it. Jesus said, uh, my sheep know my voice. And He said, I know them. So, listen, if you don't know his voice, you can know it tonight. Yeah. 
Hey, Jesus loves you. He loves, and you that are saved, Jesus loves you too. The devil don't want you to believe it, but God loves us. And he wants the best. That don't mean he wants everything. Mr. Corbin is one of the best men of God I know. But he suffered with this. Uh, he suffered. But he's a, it ain't, it's because the devil hates him. It ain't because he's done wrong. It's because the devil don't want him telling other people about Jesus. Amen. The devil don't want us. We Listen, we all suffer, do we not? We all, at some point in time. There's a lady I used to go to church when she sang a song. We're all going through something. We're all going through something. Let's pray. Anybody need to pray?